Um, very excited to uh, to watch. It's going to be um, probably a pretty intricate match, right? Um, Nathan being a very good player. Um, Nathan being a very good Briar player. And then Brandon, actually, I think, I want to say Nathan got, what, 20th at Nationals, and Brandon got... I believe he bubbled at 9th. I want to say he got ninth. yeah. Um, so this is two, uh, two of the top players in the country, I feel like, uh, battling it out. It's going to be going to be a pretty good match. Uh, Viserai inherently has a good matchup versus Briar. Um, Before they get started, though, um, change, uh, make your hub a little smaller. What is my hub? So uh, all the, the stuff at the top here. Okay, so yeah, how there. do I... How do I do Go that? Escape. Press escape. Press escape. Oh, wait. Hold on. Escape. Okay. We're lagging Con on. Configuration. All right. Who's, uh, who's playing Configuration. Here? Configuration. Yeah. Interface. Interface. Which uh, one do I hit? Hurry. Gale. Go to Gale. Uncheck it. Uncheck it. Go all the way down. And then, and then go all the way down. Apply. Fuck yeah, Nom. Look at you. You're so smart. And then wow. you, can also, you can also right click the board and hit camera mode, pop down. All right, cool. Well, I don't care about any of that. Uh, Fighters Go asked the two players. Uh, the two players are Nathan Crawford and then um, and then Brandon Abarca. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, Brandon got ninth after the Swiss rounds at Nationals. Um, definitely two really strong players. Yeah, I'm actually looking real looking forward to this. this. We have so many good matches that's going to be given to the people through this league. Um, you have potential of who who do, who are the the people we have in this. Um, well, tell you what, before we miss anything. Okay. Yeah. 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 Boy, uh, Nathan anything. with this strong start, dropping oh. a Mount Heroic on turn one. Yeah, he did. That's really good. I've I heard. Oh, we got a yellow Marvin wow. Sky. Yeah, here. we got a yellow Marvin Sky. So right off the rip, I feel like the Viscerai deck is gonna be kind of more aggro ish, mid range ish, right? That's what it looks like right here. Yeah, I'm all for it. I'm I'm loving loving the uh the diversity of the Viscerides we've seen on this league in this league so far. So yeah, he's good. he's gonna make a uh, rune chant off of Viscerides effect and then make another one off of Spellblade Strike. Yep. So then he gets the extra one so there. So we got uh um, we got four with Gogan. Yep. Curious to see what kind of turn uh, Justin's going to have with his channel mount on the follow up. Yeah, he's. Um, I'm assuming he's going to take most of this damage. Here he's, so that he can, I feel like he's just going to have to, right? Yeah, if I mean, he wants to assert up, dominance. When you set up with the channel mount, you have to, you have to, you know, assert dominance, like you said. Ooh, that's a uh, eight damage. Weapon swing. That's Neil says good. Nam has played Brandon before in another life. I don't know if he remembers. I'm assuming you played him in DBS, because that's where uh, that's where I know uh, Brandon from is DBS. So Doesn't he have like a brother? No, this is oh. this is not the twins from from uh, south okay. of us. This is they're not related. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's got. Took 12, so red plunder on plus channel mounts, probably the most gross thing I've ever seen. Oh, oh, this is the Justin special. Oh, if he reveals the, the lightning up. press, I'm going to fight someone. Okay. Oh. I was about to have to walk to Justin and have to give him a piece of my mind for that even being a thing. So that's what, eight go again? I'm back. I was rudely interrupted. So that's that's eight go again. Wow, that's actually just absurd. Um, Happy Man says, I was really impressed by the Battle of the Calling Champs. They really played well considering they were blindfolded. Um, so, Happy Man, we haven't had that match just yet. That's the marquee matchup of the night. So that'll be the end of the stream, the last match, which is the match after this one. We'll see uh, We'll see Tyler Horsepool versus Nam Vo. Um, yeah, it, has, it hasn't even happened yet. Yeah. So, like, if that's what you th – it that match was so good – that you yeah like that's the caliber of talent we're seeing in, in this fab league is yeah, so, so many players doing you know it, there's just so many things that can happen of, we see a lot of damage coming through and he's drawing this card oh he's and he's got the force to get two earth cards to get to, to save the channel he's, this he's turn, the force to nature with the fuse Oof. Oof. wow okay um Oof. 
I feel like this actually forces a block out of uh he's out gonna of make the, this he's turn. gonna make the a bombardment of lightning, so his next card's gonna have go again and plus four. Yeah, this is gonna be the this is gonna head. be the Seek Horizon. Ah, oh, lightning Whoa, surge. That's okay. actually really good. That's yeah, it is. So you've got a lightning surge power. for for eight. Yeah, eight. For eight. Um, eight draw eight. card on hit. Yeah, eight, eight draw, draw card. card on hit. This is super strong. Such right out of the turn. gate. Wow. Jeez. And this is why I think this is the best version of Briar. The hybrid Brill just has the go again and the tall attack. It's just has everything you need. Yep. Wow. This or I player must have an insane turn coming in. He's just taking he's taking all damage. this. Yeah, he, yeah just he, took, is. he just took another full so, attack. So and he's got he draws a card off of force of nature now. He's not even using his equipment to block just yet. Yeah, sixteen damage in, and uh, still three cards in hand. I think that's uh. Well, oh, he's drawn two cards here, right? Like he drew off the plunder, then he just drew off the force of nature. That's so that's just, that's just an onslaught of stuff. So here we go. Now we've got There's the Earth Lord Surge making the grasp. So he breaks the chain. Please, please put the Sodomara in there. Keep the channel mount. That would be. Uh, that's that would exact. be a, that would be insane. Oh, he is. He's going to. So he's, he's gonna, gonna do he's Rune gonna do Vigor Rush four go again with a Rune Chant, and then he's gonna pitch the other So tomorrow to Rosetta Thorn for two and two. Vigor Rush for and, eight. And, and keep the channel mount. And he's gonna be able to keep the channel mount since Vigor Rush hits for two. Seven, if if he doesn't block, he's gonna draw a card as well, which he's able to do a lot with. I believe wow. this Vigor Rush is coming in for seven. Uh, Vigor Rush should be coming in for seven plus an Arcane. Yes, seven is... an Arcane. I believe this is 25 damage represented so yeah, far wow. with the Rosetta Thorn. It'll be an additional four. So getting a rune flash uh, out of the hand, I feel like, is pretty good for for Nathan as well. Yeah, that, and he's gonna. And he, yep, and then he's gonna be able to keep the channel map heroic. So he just needs to survive next turn. turn, and he's able to do some do some nonsense. Wow, what a very 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 powerful. This turn is for gonna Nathan. be a very fast game. If, yeah, more than likely. If, yeah, if his turns are just gonna be like this. If he could just replicate that one more time, he's just a god. <laughs> now, keep <laughs> yeah. in mind, his next turn, he will have the Channel Mount Heroic. His Tunic will be at three, and he still has Snapdragon Scalers. There it is. Taking the two Arcane and then blocking the two Physical. Uh, Rick, I would be also jelly of a turn like that. What's up, Rick? Rick from BCW. I love it. What are you jealous of, Rick? Making turns like that, keeping the keeping the Mount Heroic on for a second turn. Oh, we deserve it. Okay, so he must be a little bit behind here. He must have heard that we got it, one of the preview cards. Appreciate you, Rick. Appreciate you. Oh, and, um, yeah. And you're actually going to be in town. I feel when uh, when our when our card goes live because the Welcome to Wraith event. So he that's said, gonna be pretty he neat. Said he's gonna be in town in uh, January. Exactly. Late January is gonna be at the WTR farewell events that we're gonna be having here. So th those are always fun, right? Those are gonna be so much fun to play. Hey, Alex. He wants you to teach him how to play Prism. Maybe you can uh, teach him how to play Genesis. <laughs> no, we have the perfect person for you to go to <laughs> to learn how to play Genesis. Oh, we got another yellow Marvin Scout. Yellow Marvin in. into a Dread Triptych. I feel like that's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So you got Dread Triptych. If you played a non attack action this card this turn, create a rune chant. So he's got that. So he's creating a rune chant, creating another one off of Viscerai. If you've dealt Arcane this turn, create a rune chant. He hasn't yet. And if Dread Triptych hits, create a rune chant too. So that's. That's very good. So he's already making. He's this defending. Is what four. we call a mouthful. T tell you yeah. what, Tome just blocked for four. Yep, Tome blocked for four. I feel like that is the a full four. <laughs> that's ideal. I mean. Oh. So now, okay. So now he goes blood sheaths, consuming for for zero, right? 
And so he comes in for two, two and four if it hits, or if Arcane hits, discard a card. That's a really good turn out of, uh, out of Brandon. Something unique to think about here as well is um, him popping the blood sheet this early. It's kind of like a concession to the game being very short. So um, actually, keep. The, oh, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, but, go ahead. Uh, he does have the crown of uh, dichotomy here, so he can actually block the two rune chants and not and just take four damage, not having to discard any cards. It's very true too. Only issue did, is him. He did block with a blue card already, so him having another blue blue card might be slim and if he does oh he has yellow so yeah i think he's playing yellow ravenous rabble so he's going to be able to block both the yeah. room chance to just hit for the four that's exactly what it looks like he's eight to four do. yeah i agree i think that's a really good play out of him um also just a really good play out of brandon too right like that just that forces the hand of of mm -hmm. briar to get cards out of his hands so so the channel mount doesn't get as much value as nathan was is really wanting right so so he's, he can go in for a really big attack here so ooh. Oh, here we go. Scar for Scar for seven. You'll love it. <laughs> seven, no go again. Yeah, no he has go more again. life. But he might just pop the scalers here to get. If he's got another attack, I don't see there see a reason where he wouldn't do it, right? Um, well, depends on what's his last card. His last card could just could be another plunder run. He just arsenal it for a better turn. Yeah. That's the turn just revealed that he has a Sonata in hand. That's but an unfortunate, fortunate draw broke. after using the. Oh, he did break the scalers. Yeah. Sure. Oh, nice. Sigil. So uh, you get a defense he could, react. He could, uh, he could use the tunic counter here to stop the sigil. Right? He so can. So he defend him for six. So technically, yeah, he could oh. do the tunic. And he does. Oh, okay. No, no, he, exactly he, what it does. He, he used it for the... Heart. Nah, he's, he did it for the Vigor Rush. So Vigor Rush is just coming coming in to attack attack for four more and needs to force the hand again to Viscerize. No, this is, to no, this is, this is coming for seven. Oh, excuse me, seven. It's I forgot no, math. Still here. Math is a f freaking issue, bro. <laughs> uh, Who thought Channel Mount Heroic was a good card? We know one of the cards in his hand is the Sonata. Yeah, right. I was gonna, I was, he's I was, just full defending here, and he takes yeah, two, so he gets defending. the thing. Wow. I think that's the right call. I think that's what um, I call, but now that he doesn't have a turn. Uh, I mean, if, if Nathan draws anything, like, relevant here, he could just, like, turn it back into, like, turn it into his favor. We haven't seen out. another sh channel mount, so there's actually a pretty strong possibility of him drawing another channel mount here. He's gone through, I think, four hands, or three, three four hands. Yeah. He almost missed his tunic. <laughs> lightning surge go again. Wow. Into a, it's revealing a ball lightning. That means that he probably doesn't have another lightning card in hand. So his other other cards, or he's yeah. holding he's holding off the the lightning press. Maybe. Ooh, blue vexing oh. out of him. So you kind of know that he's playing more of the mid range. Like, uh, put it in your put it in your face if you can. Visceride Deke. <laughs> and a full four block come out yeah. with skull caps because he has lower life. So like now you know he's also got the ball lightning. So he's he's he just has go again here. Natty go again is just very yep. strong. Just gonna block with another card out of his hand. And now Viscerai, in my opinion, really needs him to. So he's just coming in for two and one. He's gonna arsenal and play with a five card hand, right? Yep. So I think that's I think that's really uh really beneficial for the next turn for Nathan, right? Um. Yeah, take what take whatever probably... comes at you. Vistra can't do much here. Um, he might be able to present like seven. I'd want to say six, seven. So he's coming in for five, right? Um, coming in for four and one arcane. Five, five go or four and an arcane go again, with one floating. So like he can, yeah. He's presenting. He's presenting I mean, he just... seven here altogether. I think Nate just takes it. Um, no, he's got a five card hand. Um, oh, he takes the one. Arcane here off the rune. Right? Yep. Oh, he's got sync, so he's trying to fix his hand too. Okay. Also ideal. Not taking any damage and fixing your hand. So now now the Viscerai player just passes. Um Well, would he not come in with the Rosetta Thorns? Does he have uh, go again? Seems to me that he has not. Oh, this is a very good time. spot for a tome. Yep. 
I guess he just forgoed the two damage. He he missed out on. I, I don't know. Maybe he didn't pitch a blue card, or was it a vexing? I thought it was a vexing. Yeah, I, I want to say it was a vexing, and then the rune flash is less cost less for each rune chain. And he had one. So yeah, he had one. Two. He had one floating. So I feel like yeah, he, he has a he has a counter under his. Um, wow, area. there it is, the channel. So now if he can come in for some sort of attack here. And he, yeah, gets, the he, and he, and he gets, gets the lightning. And he gets the lightning. Oh, wow. This is where Snatch would be good, huh, Nathan? <laughs> Hope, hopefully he hears this on the re, on the, on the rewatch so you can hear me talk smack about his deck. Ooh. That's very good. Let's we'll see if he hits another blue. So you've got Ravenous Travel for potential seven. Yep. Wow. He does hit another he, blue. He's hitting the four. The five go again? Five. Uh, five go again. You know that math, like I said, math sucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. His, his lightning, his, uh, embodiment of lightning actually just doesn't do anything. Cause it's yeah. Not, but hey. yeah, like the lightning doesn't matter all too much. Right. Um, in the grand yeah. scheme of the, the way this deck is, we got another full block, but he, so now he's pitch. coming in for two, one and one or so, two, two, one. So question, why would he not pitch the weaver to play the autumn's touch with the go again and then play the ravenous rebel after? I'm not sure. Not too sure. Hmm. Because I was thinking he didn't have another blue in his hand, or why would he not have done that? But then he pitched the blue, and I and I can't I couldn't figure out mm -hmm. why that would have been. That would have presented, I think, more damage. Yeah, definitely would have presented more damage. So in the chat, somebody asked uh, Templar of Karu. Just ask, how does Briar fare against Prism? I feel like Brian's, it'd be a tough time for Briar. For Briar, so Briar stomps Prism. So Briar was built. Be, oh, wow, geez, another yeah, channel. We have, we have Jesus. another channel. So like you knew he had the wow, and then he, and he has double earth. Oh, no. And he has a double earth. This is a CNC. Oh my this is god! A CNC coming in for twelve, and he's going to keep CNC for oh. twelve, and he keeps the channel mounts. Oh my god! This is game over. It has it, to be right. No just, unless, he draws, back from unless he draws zero attacks on his next hand, this is game over. Jesus. So that's 12. The dude's blocking for... Or do all three. of those block for three? I'm about to find Dude. out. Three, Nathan three, is... three. Yeah, they all block for three, so he perfect blocked. And he gets to keep his arsenal. But no, the other whoa, channel, mount, channel no mount stays. Channel mount stays. It is a trigger, so don't say anything, I believe. But... Oh, okay. Well, okay. I could have sworn channel stays. It, it does. It does stay. But it is. I believe it's a trigger. He only keeps one channel mount. Why is that, Jacob? Maybe I'm just dumb. He put two Earths on the bottom. He, he, oh, he just says, okay. I see why. Because one triggers to put it on the bottom, and then there's not another one there. Yeah, that makes. Oh, sense. they trigger back. Okay, okay, yes, okay, 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 I make, okay. That, that makes sense. I've never tried to resolve two channels, but that would, theoretically, yeah, that makes sense. So he would. They would need three yeah. if he has two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I've never had that come up. So like, you know. You know what? Even then, a twelve. <laughs> Attack CNC for the turn was, yeah, that was hot. CNC for twelve. Kind of got me a little excited, you know. Hey, a ball, a ball lightning for five is nothing to scoff oh, at. Ball, imagine if he just has all the ball lightnings, right? Like, <laughs> oh, so back to what we were saying about the present matchup versus Briar. Briar has both arcane and physical to deal with the shields and their attack. So prisms, prisms, worst matchups or anything that goes like super, super aggro, right? Um, so you see, you see the red ball lightning afterwards. So you got a ball lightning for six coming in. Um, and if he's got lightning press, I'm pretty sure it's just game. The reason that prism has a really hard time uh, with Cheerios Briar is just because everything is a four break point. Yeah. Um, and prism's ideal hands when they're blocking, uh, aggro strategies involve blocking for three. Mm -hmm. Um, and if, Briar's not breaking the chain, then the footsteps can't do enough. Yeah, you see a seeker um, so, rising um, out of uh, out of Nathan here, so he he ends up being able to still attack for three cards and have a five card hand on the crack back here on the next turn. Yeah, and Brandon's just forced to pass because he's just trying to block out. So 
Brandon I think he's at seven. This is going to be real tough for him to block. Um, yeah. Any arcane damage for the future. Yep. Uh, so because he's only got this gold cap to block. So definitely, this... and be, being able to like being able to like just pressure with Rosetta probably just seals the game here, unless like he just yeah. bricks, right? We have a five card hand with a tunic at three. Yeah. So like he's thinking. So like. <laughs> He's probably trying to kill him this turn. He probably thinks he can kill him this turn if he's thinking that much. Um, I don't know. I think at this point he just wants to prioritize chip damage. Um, he's probably thinking, can I make some rune chance? Can I attack with the sword? Um, and because every time he makes a rune chant attack with the sword, his opponent's going to be, I mean, like three turns of that, and he's dead regardless of whether he hits with anything else or not. So I think he's going to try. If he doesn't have a non attack action, it's going to really suck this turn, but. Um, so he's he's playing the Seek Horizon, putting a card on top. So he has four. It's a four go again. One damage. Four go again. Here. Yeah, blocking three, taking one, getting yeah. getting an embodiment. Um, if he can just stay wide, like this, just it's just not looking good for Brandon here, right? He's got to keep this around a two card hand. So he makes Maybe the rune chant. Yeah. So here's the rune chant. Yep. Yeah. Wow. With the vigor rush. Well, Vigorous isn't is doesn't have go again, so he's just coming in for four and one. Four and one. And he's gonna probably be able to make another embodiment if he doesn't full block here. You gotta think too, he's still got tunic a lot. He's still got tunic live. Um as well. So he's blocking blocking two? He's blocking two. So he blocked two and took the rune chant, and so yeah, he's at three. Wow. Okay. So now, now rune chant plus sword is lethal. Yeah. Now rune chant plus sword is lethal, and he's got two embodiments for anything that comes at him, right? So like, if he can't present lethal, it's just just like, it's not looking it's great for the viscerai player. See what we got here. So plunder on from arsenal. Um. So we have a consuming for seven and one, um, one arcane and seven physical damage. I would prioritize getting rid of. The, I think you prioritize getting rid of the arcane so, and just yeah, taking the seven. The tunic. Use the, the tunic and then just take the seven. Yeah, he uses I, the tunic, takes the seven. He's gonna be at what fifteen? He'll be at he'll be at fifteen with a five card hand, and like Viscerai, all he can do is just pass turn. He just has to, you know. Um, so it looks like that's what Nathan's doing is just uh, is just blocking with the tunic resource. Uh, for Arcane, and he's just gonna. It looks like Brandon's just gonna Arsenal card and just pass. Um, I think this is my. This might be the last turn right here. I mean, if he didn't brick, sure. But like, I feel like he would have blocked with well, some cards from. Yeah, Brandon. he would have. Blo he would definitely blo have blocked. I believe so. Oh, well, yep. Well, here we are. This starts the trade. Right? Ball lightning for two, which is actually still lethal. Yeah. Any combat tricks here? Any combat tricks once in the game. Wow. Lightning Surge Arsenal. Wow. Does. Wow, wow, wow. This is very good because it's going to get both of the cards out of his hand and then anything after that is lethal. Yeah. If he can if he can just present like a... um, If he can present a non-attack action, he just wins the game on the, on the spot. So I'll tell you what. He doesn't even need to at this point, actually. He can just make a rune chant Wait, so, and, uh, make, and then have another so he, attack. So he took... Don't tell his opponent, but Nathan doesn't play any lightning press. Really? Yeah, so the rune chant here is, is going to kill. Yeah, that's game. He can't block yeah. four and the rune wow. chant. So. Good game. Yep. Wow. The, seeing as many channel mounts as he did was ridiculous. Wow. Vagabond dogfish with the uh, with the with the steamroll there, kind of. GG. Um, GG again. Yeah. Um, I liked I liked what Brandon was doing early game with his um with how he was playing very aggressively, but unfortunately um unfortunately you just can't really outpace Briar right like you you really have to you really yeah. really have to bank on Briar bricking and Nathan the, just Mount didn't brick going right for tall. going for those tall attacks yeah. with the Mount Heroic just really put a foot up. You know, and just like, just dominated this match.